Hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me. Today we're training the largest muscle of the body, the gluteus maximus. We're also honing in on the gluteus medius for our hips. Minimum equipment is needed with a set of dumbbells and a mini band. Now let's get to it. All right, hello, hello, Tatum here. Thank you for joining me today. I have just a 30 minute uh, workout. This is going to focus on hip strength um, glute strength, okay, that kind of thing. So we are gonna use bands. I'm super excited about this. I think this is a very important workout to add into your weekly routines. Um, I have a, a thick hip band today. If you don't have a band, you'll be able to do the movements today. And maybe that's where you need to start anyways without adding the extra tension. And then I also have a mini thinner band to use. And I have a set of 15s as we will incorporate some uh, lunging into the workout today, all right? We're gonna get started very quickly since we're gonna go through this process. If you're looking for a warm up to this with um, foam rolling and stretching, I did put a video up for our members only. So if you wanna look into that, look at one of our tiers, join in there, You'll, we'll be posting videos like that as we go along. All right, to get started, let's just start with bringing this left foot up towards our hip, opening up just a bit. We're just gonna do a few little movements through our joints here, especially our hips, and then we'll get going, all right? All right, thanks for joining me again. I'm super excited and pumped about this one. This is an important piece, I think, to um, having good strength in our squats and our lunges, being safe on our runs and our walks and our cycling. So um, we're gonna, or even just as we age, having you know good hip strength too, so that if we were to fall, we would be okay. All right, so here we go. We're just gonna go also into some circles. So I'm gonna have you bring that knee up out to the side, around, and back, okay? Up, out, and around, big circles, and then back, good. Let's go, five. You can hold on to something for balance here today if you'd like. We're gonna start at the floor, then we're gonna work into standing. Exercises with a little bit of balance. Let's go to the other side, up and around. And then we'll go into some lunging, some good strength moves with some weight. Um, it's just a little bit of everything, okay? A little bit of everything just building as I like to do through the workout. For one more, ooh, I feel a little shaky today. How about you? Five, good. Let's go ahead and swing across, wrapping around. Just a few here. Again, we're almost there. We're gonna lay down. We're not gonna use any bands in our first segment. Sometimes I do, but today, let's kind of build through and save it because I, we are gonna do some more um, hip band work at the end for strength. Good, other side here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Ooh, that one. nine, and 10. All right, we have 15 seconds. Let's head down to the floor here. We're gonna start there. This isn't gonna be a high heart rate workout, but we are gonna build this is strength that we need. All right, in order to do more weights in here on our lower half. All right, we're gonna go lying here. You can use this to prop yourself up or here if you'd like. Right your head and we're just gonna abduct straight leg up and down, all right? And have you lead with the heel just a bit here, right down the center line. Try to stay stacked here in the hips. You can use your hand for balance. Good work, and we're gonna move through three parts here. We're gonna go, go into a clamshell, three, two, and one, good. So we're gonna bend our knees now and we're gonna open up, keeping those feet together. Open up as wide as you can with those knees. Externally rotate here, working medius, okay? Trying to get the hip strength here, outer hip. Good. Not a typically strong place for us because we don't do a lot of this movement. Three, two, and one, good. Now, we're gonna go ahead and bring this top leg behind slightly, and we're gonna lift and lower. So it's just back a little bit behind, um, midline the body here, lift and lower. And I want you to kind of lift the foot and the knee together. So the clamshell, our knee was leading here. I want them to be in line and level. Woo, feel it, good. Three, two, and one, all right, we're gonna go again. Other side, down the middle, lift and lower. 
We can do these standing too, which I sometimes like to do. This is nice and low key. It's kind of fun. Whoop! Hold your balance. Hanging out with you here, going through this. We will build. Hang in there. I know this isn't the most exciting stuff, but it's very important. There's a lot of videos out there about growing your bottom <laughs> and doing a lot of glute strength. Three, two, and one. Let's bend our knees now. We're gonna go into that clamshell. Toes stay together. Open up wide. Um, for me, yes, we can, if our glutes are not active, we'll see a flatter backside because the muscle is not engaging there. Um, we'll get a little atrophy, we'll lose a little muscle there. So if you're looking for that appearance, you want to learn to activate. All right, good. Now bring that leg slightly behind and lift up and down with the knee and the foot level. And um, with that being said, um, you need to probably work on some foam rolling stretching, like I said with that other video that we have up for the members, but um, we also the importance of just having strong hips and glutes is even more important to me than just what it looks like, but you know, we all have our goals. Whatever motivates you is the best, right? All right, rest there. We're gonna come up to the top now. We're gonna go with some uh, standing glute rear lift. I'm gonna use a mini band here for this to help activation get a little bit. You don't have to, especially if you don't have one, but I would look at purchasing this stuff online. They have different tensions. You might want a thin, medium, and heavy just so that you can play around with those and you'll progress into those heavier. Start probably with more of a thin to medium. Our first one's gonna be a rear uh, glute lift. So we're just gonna come down in this quarter kind of squat and we're gonna stand and lift behind. Three, two, and one, here we go. And we are just gonna alternate here, each lift. I'm trying not to rock or move side to side here or lean. All right, we wanna lift straight back, try to keep our hips squared and really get into that glute, okay? Try not to feel the hamstring too much. If you are, we probably need to foam roll them a little bit and get that to turn off because I really want this to go into the glute more. Three, two, and one. Great job. We're gonna do a half circle now. If you don't have a band, you're gonna tap out to the center in, or actually you can scoop around and bring it through and still find balance and scoop around. If balance isn't there, tap to the um, front, tap to the side, and tap back, okay? Otherwise, with our bands, we're gonna do that scoop or that half circle. We're gonna bring our leg all the way around and then back forward. You can tap down, you can reset here and find your balance in between. Out and around <laughs> and back, okay? Find the balance. If you need to hold on something, you can, but we're trying to work our balance here as well. So draw that navel in and up, tighten up here, slow down. Great job. Let's switch to the other side. So we're gonna bring that left foot out all the way around and forward. I have a lot of different things I like to do when I'm working hips and our large glute max. But this is one of them. So I tried to pick a couple. It's hard for me to just pick a couple for everyone <laughs> and around. If you're at the gym with me, you do this one a lot. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Rest, awesome job. All right, so we got some activation there. Okay, a little bit. We're feeling good. They're turned on. We've worked in, they're kind of engaged and awake. We're going to a little bit of cardio, just four sets of 20, 10, and we're just gonna do skaters. So now we're moving our hips, and you can just tap here and stay low, which feels good to move side to side. We don't do that much. If you want more, you're gonna jump with me and move a little bit more. And if you need even more, I'll let you go down, okay? That's pretty intensive, so see where you are today. Maybe start high and work into it, which I think I'll do. So we'll start kind of up, and then we'll start to work down. Three, two, and one. Here we go, side to side. I am gonna give it a jump, but remember, you can tap down and just step it out wide. We're still moving laterally into the hip, so it's still good movement for strength there. And then if you want balance too, we're gonna jump or hop here side to side. Three, two, and one, good job. 10 seconds rest on this one. 
Maybe we move down a little deeper. Three, two, and one, here we go. So I'm gonna try to go a little lower or maybe just a reach, but not to the ground yet, and then to the ground as I loosen up a little through this, or this motion. Good. Little skaters, low. Three, two, one. Nice work. Two more here. That's got us primed, ready to go. Heart rate's up. Blood is moving through the body. We'll get going. Three, two, and one. Try that touchdown now. Here we go. Took me a couple to get there. It's okay. You know, I talk about doing four sets at the gym versus three on some things. As we get a little bit older, we need a little more time to warm up, move through those joints. Your foam rolling and stretching will help with that as well. Rest, nice work. One more. Now we're going into a lot of lunging. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Here we go, touch down, side to side. Feels good. Again, we don't have to touch down. We, we can stay high. Modify, you do you, find your challenge. Three, two, and one. Great job. All right, grab a sip of water. <laughs> if you have your water bottle. We only have 40, 30 seconds now to go. We're gonna go with a lateral lunge, abduction, rear lift. I'm not gonna use the band. We're gonna use our hip band later for some more isolated strength. So we're gonna go lateral lunge with weight or without weight and come up and lift into abduction. So then we have reverse lunge and we're gonna lift into that rear lift. All of that with weight now for more strength. Then we'll have a side plank. I wanna work our side planks. I think those are very important for hip stability. We'll work those as our active rest. <laughs> Here we go, let's go to the right. Come up and give me abduction, a little leg lift. On that leg lift, try to stay upright. See where I'm leaning? Don't lean into it to kick. Well, I'm gonna have you stay nice and tall, all right? When we lateral lunge, we want those feet, those toes forward. Okay, we wanna go look forward here. Step, lift, good job. If you want a little weight on that abduction, you can hold it here as we lift out. Let's go to the other side now, step left. And we will have three rounds of this. This is our main set, our strength. If two is enough today for you, go right ahead. Stay there, especially if you haven't been doing any hip strength. Um, we don't wanna go too far with it. Those hips can get really sore, really sore. There you go. And lift, good. Three, two, and one. Nice work. We're gonna be holding our weights quite a while. We can take different grips. We can hold with a little bit of a goblet squat here as well. That's our rest. We're gonna step back now into a reverse lunge. Come up to stand with a rear lift. Here we go. Step back with that right leg. We'll stay with the same side. Come up. Woo, squeeze that glute. Tap down. Good. Reverse lunge. In. Lift. Tap. Good. Just like that, we're just going to keep moving. Squeeze the glute. Feel the glute. Good. Don't go too high or too far. We don't want to pull into that back. We really just want to squeeze and lift. Good. So while we're working that left side with this reverse lunge, we're also getting an isolated amount of work on that right side. Here we go, switch feet, left foot back, come up to stand, and lift. Now, if that reverse lunge isn't for you, and I forgot about the lateral lunge, I'm gonna show you a modification on the second round, okay? Here, we could step back with a straight leg, like a hinge, and then lift, all right? Or come here, lift to stand, okay? Step back, hinge, in that right hip, sorry, my balance is off, lift and come back in, all right? That's a good one. I'll show you another one for the other. We're gonna go staggered stance, a little staggered, sorry, um, forward lunge. So you're gonna kind of pivot at 30 degrees back in. We're gonna alternate three, two, and one. So a little bit of a twist. We never, I mean, I say we don't move laterally, but we take steps in different directions a lot. And uh, we want to be prepared for that. So here with some strength, with some weights, with some controlled movements, we can build the strength. 
So if we had to take a quick step this way, we're able to catch ourselves, have the strength to stand back up. These are all the things I'm thinking as we age a little bit, even younger, even as an athlete. I mean, we put ourselves in a different pocket sometimes when we get a little older, but we still, the same thing that you would prep as an athlete, we need to prep with our age too, okay? Things happen. Back and forth here, a lot of seconds. If that bothers your knees stepping up, just push off, smaller little push off forward, okay? Or we can do a staggered stance squat where we're one foot out, putting weight, or just, you can have both feet flat and doing one foot out in front a little bit, okay? And then we can switch on that as well. Couple options. All right, we're gonna go into our side plank. 30 seconds each side. Let's come down to our left side, elbow under shoulder. Let's start with the modification. Knees bent, hips up, and hips forward. It's not just enough to raise your hips. I don't want us to just raise them off the floor. I want us to push them up towards the ceiling. I want us to think about making a little arc here, a little bridge right there under our hips, around our obliques. If that's easy for you, some of us will go toe to heel here, or we can go stack balancing. All right, but I'm starting to lean forward. So I'm gonna wanna pull those hips forward, stack myself up, and then lift those hips, okay? Keep working. Good, we're gonna switch sides now. Other side, same thing. Start with bent knees, and let's work. Lift up, push forward. You'll notice that the body will start to round and push back to make it easier. Keep those hips stacked underneath each other here, shoulder on shoulder. We're gonna hold a few extra seconds as I took us a little longer on the other side. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. All right, we're gonna go into those lateral lunges again with abduction. If that lateral lunge is too much for you, you can do a squat and then kick out abduct, okay? Squat, abduct, instead of lateral lunge. There's your option. Keep working, you'll just work a little bit longer as we work side to side here, you're to stay with that squat. Not longer, but just doing the one squat. Alternate your abduction each leg, or stay with one side. Maybe you squat, do your right side like we are for 30 seconds, then do the other side. Here we go, halfway. So maybe now you're squatting and abducting with that left leg. Good work. Try to give us as much modification. So I forget on that first round, get my head stuck in this workout. But I love to give modifications. I want you to be able to work differently, work through these templates, make it good for you. Three, two, and one, nice work. Let's rest, I'm gonna put my weights down. I like to give my grip a chance to relax. We're gonna do that reverse lunge now, right? Remember, you can just step here, bending your knees is too much, and maybe give a glute uh, lift there and stand back up. Step back, lift, okay? Three, two, and one, here we go. Step it back to lift, good. Reverse lunge, up, glute, rear leg lift. Woohoo, good. That's it. Squeeze. Keep them coming, we're just working. Little leg strength here with a little isolation with these lifts. Halfway, other side, team, here we go. And lift. A Little bit of a leg day with a focus on hips, always good. Nice work. Let me know, let me know if you need hip strength, if you notice anything. Maybe on our workouts you're noticing the knees falling in, that you're wobbly, the knees are going everywhere, rest here with your lunges, okay? So this is good work. All right, we're gonna go with that 30 degree angle, okay? Just a little bit of a 30, a little bit of a pivot, all right, and back up. Three, two, and one, here we go, back and forth. Again, Oop, there we go, <laughs> we got it. I don't, honestly, I said we were doing three. Might be doing two rounds here. Wish I could remember what I decided to do. There you go, side to side. You got it. 
a little turn, okay? A little more functional to life, all right? Maybe we don't necessarily step lateral as much, but we'll catch ourselves going at an angle moving forward occasionally. There you go. Good, it's amazing what adding just a little bit woo, of a rotation, what that can do. And remember again on this, you could just step, push back, step, push back, or find that staggered stance, squat, and then you switch it and squat on the other side, okay? Three, two, and one, rest. All right, here we go. We have our um, oblique or a, our side plank here. Let's go left side, elbow under shoulder. Knees bent to start. This might be enough, otherwise, toe to heel is your next one. It's harder, but it's more balanced because I have my toe to heel. Or we can stack it up and offer some, a little bit of instability and a little more work. Now pull that hip, that bottom rib cage up towards the ceiling a little bit. Not that you roll back, but that you're stacked at the hips and the shoulders are stacked. Sometimes holding our arm up helps us see that because if my arm's out here, I'm not stacked right, okay? Now lift those hips, try to get a little rainbow. Imagine a little rainbow under those hips. You got it. Look up if you want a little bit more balance work. Hold. Good job. Other side, same thing. Bit knee if you want, or stacked, or toe to heel. We're working. We're gonna work again. I keep holding that other side a little too long on us. Just lift those hips, stack it up. We're gonna hold here. Good, 10 more seconds, holding. Lift, get that rainbow. <sighs> Look up if you want more balance. Stack those hips. Three, two, and one. All right, nice work. Coming up here, we're going back to number one, I believe. Oh, we have some rest here, do we? We have a little bit of rest. Actually, we're gonna move on to our hip band. I'm sorry. We're gonna go to our hip band. I'm super excited if you have a band get it on the thicker one if not don't worry about it you can use your thin one too as well or just skip it you'll be fine all right we're gonna go into a glute bridge here from the floor on this first one squeezing and lifting I want you to press out against the band so you have some tension and I want you to sort of tuck the pelvis just a bit just a little tuck to try to engage those glutes a little bit more so they're not stretched out with that anterior pelvic tilt so we're just gonna tuck it a little bit, shorten those glutes so we can activate and squeeze. Just lift and lower. And I'm not going all the way down because I feel like I relax and I let go of the contraction and I'm trying to keep that tension the whole time. So give me one more here and lift. Nice work. All right, we're gonna go with a squat with abduction, okay? So we're gonna step. I love to do this, kind of integrating the legs in with the hips. So we're gonna step out, just a small step and squat. Bring it back in, small step. A lot of times I get a really wide step out of my clients and then the knees cave in. The point is to keep them over the second and third toe. So this step, depending on the tension of your band, you have a looser tension, you might be able to go wider and still keep those knees out over the second and third toes. Now let's step it back the other way. Up, out, down. Up, out, down. Up, out, down. Look at your toes, see if they're forward. See if those knees are over the second and third toes. We're gonna do a squat pulse here. All right, we're just gonna stay down here and we're gonna pulse up and down. Keeping that tension on the band, okay? Right here, trying not to let the knees cave in and out or move or the hips. It's a small pulse with pressure. We got it, 15 more seconds. Move up and down here, good. We got this. 10 seconds. Woo, there we go, come on. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, we're headed back to exercise one. That's gonna be that glute bridge. I'm gonna put my feet on the wall this time. I'm gonna offer some elevation so I get more range, okay? You can stay at the floor if you don't have a wall nearby or this is too much today. Three, two, and one, here we go. Squeeze and lift. Squeeze and lift, good, that's it. 
Make sure you're feeling the glutes. Get some pressure on the band. Keep equal pressure. We're not abducting in and out right now. We're just keeping pressure on the hips. And I'm only gonna go halfway. Again, squeezing on the wall, feeling much more for me with this range. Three, two, and one rest. I will say I didn't start there though. When I started with all this, that would have been really hard. I felt so much at the floor, okay? Again, like everything, it gets easier and you can work harder with consistency. Let's step left again, find your squat, and we're back up. Left, all right, out, squat, in. Out, squat, in, nice and slow. I don't wanna see wobbly knees. Check yourself out in the mirror if you have one there. Are your knees sliding in and out? Are they kind of doing this as one hip giving? It happens. It's okay if it's happening. Just focus on it. Try to direct that mind to that feeling. Understand that that's happening. Try to correct it by moving a little slower and keeping tension equal, okay? You can do it. Nice work. We have our pulse. We're gonna just go up and down a little bit here with the strength. Three, two, and one. Here we go, a little pulse. Keep the pressure, okay? See if this toes are straight. Knees should be over a second, third toe. I kind of think about pushing my feet into the outside of my shoes. I'm not rolling my feet out. I'm just putting pressure there. So I get the pressure against here. I keep those hips from wanting to cave in. And we're just working this pulse. Woo, eight seconds though. We've got this today, no problem. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, all right. We're gonna stretch these hips a little bit. That is it. That main set with the lunges today. You could take it an extra if you wanted a little bit more work, all right? So a nice isolated work on hips and glutes. This is great for a lower key day. Again, if you've had a high day and you want something that's not too crazy, unless your legs are sore, it might feel like a lot. For some of us where lunges aren't super comfortable yet, this feels like a lot of work, but it's good work. Let's go ahead and stretch. We're gonna bring uh, that left. Actually, let's go first with a Z sit and then we'll go into the next one. Let's get a little bit more of a stretch. I want that front foot heel at the knee, not inside the leg. We'll bring it in later. Right at the knee. You can even bring this knee back a little bit and stretch out longer and keep a 90 degree in that back. Then we're gonna bring our right hand outside our knee and our left hand outside our foot. Some of us are gonna feel more of a stretch than others. A lot of times we don't get this 90 degree bend and we fall forward and we tuck in and we're like, ah, oh, this is so easy. Some of us it is still, but we want that 90 degree to feel this. We want a long back and spine to feel it as well. Hands outside the foot and the knee, so I'm not turned towards the knee right now. And we're holding, we're breathing. And what, three good breaths. I think we have time. That's about 20 seconds. Three big breaths into the belly, through your nose and out through your mouth. And I want you to focus that breath into wherever you're feeling this. And the reason I love this stretch is sometimes I feel it in my outer hip, Sometimes I feel it in my inner thigh. Sometimes it's running up the lateral side of my leg, lower leg. So wherever you feel the most, I feel something the most, I want you to push that breath there. So breathe in and out. Focusing on that point. And most of you probably have your three breaths in already as I spoke through that. So let's go ahead, we're gonna tuck this leg in now. No, I'm sorry, let's go to the other side real quick. And then we'll get there. Let's get both sides. While we're here, we've got it down 90 degrees. Kick that other one back. Try to square your hips. Hand outside the foot and the knee. Nice long spine. Good job. Just breathe here. Again, let's find three deep breaths into that spot. Ooh, do you feel it differently on this side? I know I do. Something somewhere totally different, feels different altogether. Let's breathe in and out. In. And out. Good, on these breaths, I want you to try to breathe in for three counts and out for five. All right, last one in the hips today. And I know we should probably do hamstrings a lot, but we're running out of time. Wanted to keep this short and quick so you could fit it in and get out. Maybe get a walk on. Do some cardio today. So we're gonna bring that left foot inside our inner right thigh. Bring that right leg around. 
and we're gonna give ourselves a little hug. We're gonna hold in. This hip's gonna come up off the ground. For now, it's okay. We're gonna hold and hug, squeeze, and then I want you to sit that right hip down to the floor and hug a little harder and pull it up off the floor. Let it come rise, let it fall to the floor, pushing it down. For some of us, maybe our hip is down already because we have some flexibility. Push down and up, down and up, down and up. Good, one more. Ooh, yeah, we need to switch sides. Right leg inside, left over the top. Whoopsie, give yourself a little hug here. Squeeze tight, hip off the floor, push it down, lift it up. Push it down, lift it up. My timer is complete. I know it's a little over 30 minutes. Stay here with me. Let's finish a few more of these. Don't rush it. There's so much more to health and fitness and moving well and feeling good than that really tough beat yourself up workout, okay? And trust me, I love those workouts. I, I just love them, I adore them, I do them too. But I want you to be more consistent. I want you to start thinking about adding extra days in. That's why kind of sprinkling in some of these lower key days are needed. Maybe fewer sets, more isolated work. I want you to think about those, add them in, because the more we do, especially over the age 40, the more muscle we're gonna get to build, the more toning, the more uh, calories we're gonna burn, the more change we'll see in our bodies, okay? so. Uh, consistency and frequency is kind of what I'm focusing on. So not every day can be that high intensity. I would say maybe three days to two days like that. Everything else, sprinkle in some lower key things that you feel like you can show up and do mentally and physically. That's it, I gotta let you go. I've held you too long. Thank you so much for joining me. Let me know what you thought about this video. If you would like to see more like this, I really appreciate your comments and your opinions. So keep them coming and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.